greetings to one and all in the name of the resurrected lord on this easter sunday let us meditate upon the bible portion of john chapter 20 verses 1 to 18 there is a story about a person bill peddy he gives an illustration about bonsai plant the bonsai plant is a miniature version of a large tree which is deliberately altered by cutting or type tying its tap roots so that it can be a small decorative addition to a cultivated garden rather than the tree nature intended to be in terms of questions i guess the tap root is one that allows direct contact with the main teachings of jesus Are we bonsai Christians who function only decoratively but without a challenge? There was a big challenge before Mary. She heard the name Jesus called her. At that point she recognized Jesus. In our griefs and sorrows we can overlook Jesus and his resurrection until we hear Jesus call us by name which he does in our baptism. In John chapter 20 verse 1 the word tomb in Greek memion it is the root word for memory so the complaint is that they have taken Jesus not out of the tomb but out of my memory they are trying to destroy his memory but there is something which we can see here Jesus isn't just a memory he is alive Johann Baptist Metz calls it a dangerous memory the memory which cures our amnesia the resurrection isn't a past event but a present reality that still holds power and promise when we remember Jesus we aren't recalling history but we are engaging with the living Christ who calls us each by name The resurrection is a testimony to the enduring love of God, a love that calls us out of our tombs of despair into the light of hope. It is a love that transcends the past and is visible in the present. It invites us to a deeper relationship with the divine. In the end, we see in John chapter 20 verse 15 that Jesus is called who Kemporos he is called the gardener Jesus the gardener after resurrection he is gardening he is taking care of each and every plant so that their roots can go down they can go to the source of love they can go to the source of life and they can live Jesus came to give us life life in all its fullness not only to a plant which is in our garden but to every plant every life throughout the world may this easter be a blessing to all and god bless our church amen